to hold on the the furniture, the street furniture. Chelsea Brown. I agree with that as well. Yeah. Chelsea Brown. I do, although I do, and uh, hearing what you said about the low ridership, but yeah, it is nice to have a bench of the bus stop. So especially if we're going to promote a walk of a multi like multi mode. Can I ask a question? I, I, of course, that's what I would support if I had to choose one of the three as well. Thank you. Um, but is there support for if we can do all three by doing that advanced resolution, which is just promising to pay back through bonding? Is that is there support for that? It's just it would come out of the 2020 bonding or 20, I don't remember which year. We do the next bonding cycle. The next, whenever we bond next. I, that's, I think that's, it, it might be possible, but if it is. A, I mean, I think there's a cash flow problem because you have to pay for it, and, and you know, you need the money to pay for it, and you're not bonding again until 2020, so I'm not sure where you get the money to pay for it. Interesting. I, I also think that we, as a community, really need to look at how we're spending money, continuing to spend money that we don't really have, and until we can sort of figure that out, this is me is like a, a nice to have, and so if we can hold on that while we figure that out without bonding ahead of what we even really have, that just it just makes me really nervous. Okay, um, I um, I would like that answer. I, I I don't agree with that. I think that and maybe I'm wrong, but the benches are usually used by handicapped people, and so. Elderly. Elderly, like moms, people tying the running shoes, all those so, things. I mean, it, it's a change in direction of what we've always done for our bus stops if there is space. So, anyways, that, that would be why I'm not, why I would like to see if there was a way to fund it, and if not, then I would be definitely supportive of not and waiting. Um, just to be getting the trustee carpenter. I could defer. I just, I mean, obviously, I don't think that this is the ideal situation, you know, I, I actually think that there's a pretty decent ridership along Wilson Drive. That route goes straight to downtown. I know a lot of people who live on the west side and choose not to drive and work at NML or um, use that route. So I do think that it would be lovely, but I just think in our current financial situation, like we can't do the lovely, unfortunately. We have to make these hard decisions and this is this is one of them, unfortunately. Um, Trustee McKay and then Trustee Warner. Uh, I would just remind the board too that we do have a Shorewood am amenity fund that was set up of probably five, seven years ago and um, people can donate benches in memory of loved ones and so this might be a time to promote. We actually got to the place where we had run out of things to donate so <laughs> um, this provides two more opportunities. Thank you. Just one. I think that's a good idea. I also want to say I appreciate uh, Trustee Carpenter's point of view, but I also would like to hear uh, the next meeting if there's a possibility to find some way to pay for this. I think it, it doesn't prohibit us from looking at options and seeing what's up. Okay. Um, Trustee Martin? Yeah, so is the, you know, if we're going to cover the old bridge with the savings in the alley program? That's, uh, I think, um, I think there's, there's, yeah, there's yeah, some Interested in waiting and getting information at our next meeting. Yeah. I, I just um, would would actually like the opportunity to clarify, um, not not with you, but for my own sake, um, because my under, as I'm as I understood it and as I'm reading the presentation, the actual cost um, based on the recommendation, so eight conventional alleys, two green alleys, the actual construction cost. Um, is seven hundred and six thousand and change, um, and then if you add in the construction or the, the design engineering and construction inspection fee, um, that puts you at. Well, I guess I would just. I want to make sure that that um, we are all talking about the the same numbers. So. Um, are you worried that we don't have enough, or we have more than we think? No, I'm. I'm. I'm just. I'm concerned about this concept of savings, and I want to make sure that that we are in fact reading that correctly. Okay, so Mark, can you state your understanding? So, as the finance director, of how much from what we just approved on alleys we would be saving or have available? Well, 
from what I heard in the presentation, is that based on the last program's bid results, they've extrapolated costs, indexed them with some inflation, um, factored in Green Alley infrastructure, and that total would be $758,000 anticipated bid, if my memory is correct. That's right. I also want to make sure there's some flexibility because we know how it is. I mean, that was without the grant. Yeah. 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 So we 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 should still be thirty. You can't. You already have a motion and a second on the table. So hold on. So we have a motion and a second. Is there any discussion? We're bringing back an updated report so that we know how much money we actually have to put in different places. Okay. Well, I mean, the I guess the, at the end of the day, you know, this exercise is to inform the board that there's going to be potential overages, yeah. uh, as well as to have informed the board of potential options other than funding the Wilson Drive Street furniture with tax levy. Um, this will all vet out one way or another as, as you know, we get final numbers in and, and we get to actual alley bids because this is just a projection of what we think the bid was based on the on the bid we received the last cycle. So, um, um, and I think that we can structure some flexibility into the bids so that if bids come in higher, the board is not um, put in a disadvantageous position relative to bond funding that's available to complete that contract. So. Um, hopefully you. I've effectively communicated that and can I just ask one question see that arrow I think Trustee McKay tried to get that at this twice project budget with grant 758,000 correct no 790 the project budget total available funds would be 790 the 750 of bond proceeds was the 40,000 grant and then the 758 is the blue part, which is construction. And that green part on right above the 758 is the, the engineering design and inspection costs related to that. It's almost at 32,000. is almost like a contingency, or it's a. Well, it's a projected gap. That. It's a projected gap. No. Okay. So you can bring back a report, but it's going to say the same thing. I mean, I, can we? Is it 700? Are we using all the 750? From this chart right there. That's what you projected. Cost of all costs in was 758. And you have the grant too. So we don't have right. it. Yeah. Things we are just the alley count when we get the bids mm -hmm. in and we know where our money is. Right. And for that matter, somebody who voted in favor of the cost of all right. Right. Next, at the next meeting could make a motion to Oh we can't bring that up. You can time. reconsider. You can make a motion sure, now or the next meeting. Consider. Well, again, it's being engineered, not. not <laughs> That's <laughs> true. Right. I just. No, I, it's I'm not. not 30. I would call the question. Okay. Can I just ask a question, legal question, about moving to consider? Actually, because calling the question has to be dealt with. We already have a motion on the floor and a second, and we're in discussion. So if, if we do. There a call of question? Is there a call of, call of question? Okay. I'll second. So wait, even though we have a what do we do with the first motion? Is it an amendment? Okay, I don't understand. Where there was there was a motion of the floor second. Correct. And, and then there was a request to call the question. Correct. Which okay. is done by consent of the funding. The actions are any questions. The previous question here was one five seconds. Any member desires of terminating the debate and call the previous question? And the question announced by the president shall be shall the main question be put. The majority of the members present vote in the affirmative and the question shall be taken by the 
Okay. So we'll take the motion of call the question. So all those in favor, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Nay. Nay. So we will now, now what? We now vote on the motion. Vote on the motion. Okay. And so the motion is? For staff to bring back an updated report to the next meeting. Okay. Any further discussion? I just want to No, there can't be any further. Sorry about that. Oh, all right. So, sorry. All those in favor, say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Nay. 6 1 motion carries. I didn't vote. Thank you. Um, okay, so the next item on our agenda is to. Oh, wait, can I reconsider? Can I move to reconsider? Yes, you can. The alley funding? The alley funding. Second. Any discussion? I have a discussion point. So, my question is if if you bring back this file that we just directed you to bring back, and we can only reconsider a vote about within two meetings, is that correct? Um, Ooh. How, um, if you want to reconsider a vote, how long do you have to do that reconsideration? At the very moment, I was searching for the specific provision in chapter 155 of the There is a there's a specific answer to that question. Here, it's reconsideration of bullets, 955-16. Shall be in order for any number of bullying that the prevailing seven to move for reconsideration of the vote on any question immediately after the vote is had or at the next proceeding. Okay, so right there, we can't because it's not immediate. I think it has to be the next meeting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is it the next meeting then? Is that what it says? Okay. Well, so if Hypothetically, if it, <laughs> hypothetically, if you or I wanted to reconsider, yeah, okay, not you. I would have to be on under open meetings. I would have to be on the agenda. So Correct. Is that true? I thought you was. You can yeah, reconsider. It is on the agenda. What about today? when staff comes back with options? One of the options they present, which we have discussed, is a change in the scope of the hour. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So it'll come back next week for the next time. And well done. Okay. Great. So we'll follow up with me this one meeting on whether how a reconsider of a vote because I read it differently. I thought it could be this meeting or the next meeting. No, I have no idea what you're talking about. Well, we had it on the next <laughs> thing, right? Immediately after we took the vote, and then we did a different motion. It will be moved on. Okay. Thank you so much. All right. So, um, so the most recent so, um, yes. and we will move on to the next item, which is consent agenda. That's a good question. Um, uh, so moved. Second. Second. I would like to pull, is the consent agenda have the minutes? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So it would be the same two. Yeah, those two. Okay. The item C and D. Any other? Uh, trustee? I don't, I don't want to pull the accounts, but I can because I'm guessing we won't make it to items for future consideration. I'd just like to say that I would like to see some separate accounting for those train expenses um, in relation to the nine thousand dollars, and I just I just want to have a sense of what we're spending in relation to the ghost train um, and where that money is going. So that would be more itemization under that. I'd like to pull that just to have discussion about it for a second. Okay. Uh, otherwise, we can't really discuss. It. Okay. Any anything else from the consent agenda? Mm -hmm. Seeing none, we'll take up. Oh, the motion is A, B, and All those in favor, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. So now we will take up the first one. Um, a, presentation of counsel. Presentation of counsel. Can you just say what you um, Yeah, there was an item in here thing, uh, regarding those train um, expenses regarding signs which I guess had to do with the circus train. I wasn't sure exactly what it was about. And I just, I feel like there are certain expenses related to those train that um, the Public Arts Committee does not have a budget like conservation and headed by safety have a couple hundred dollars each for little projects and stuff like that. Public Art doesn't, we haven't budgeted anything for that. I'm not sure who's approving these expenses or what they're for. 
and um, I, I just feel like we need to um, address expenses related to ghost training. And, and, yeah. Okay. Uh, those requests came to me. Um, uh, members of the Public Art Committee who have been working also through the, um, there's a, like a ghost train subcommittee have uh, asked the village to uh, do some marketing for ghost train. Um, so um, those are expenses and as you know we have some carried over, um, or, or I should say carried over, some um, marketing funds allocated um, for Project, projects such as the ghost train. So this was the design work for posters that we can use for years to come to market both the circus as well as the uh, holiday train. What funding are you talking about? That's the manager budget. There's like, there's like uh, five grand or so for um, small marketing projects. On the top of my head, I forget what that account is, but it's in the manager. But it's mean, under marketing that, and communication. I remember in 19, we took that 5,000 out, right? Correct. So, so when they come next year, 